Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 5 mathematics class. Have you all finished all the activities mentioned in the previous class? So in the previous class, we talked about Roman numerals. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video first and come back. Today, let's talk about adding and subtracting Roman numerals. So, we have already learned about the different rules to form Roman numerals. We have the rule of repetition, rule of addition and rule of subtraction. Now, let's see how we can add two Roman numerals. We have an example add, it's a Roman numeral, these two Roman numerals and you have to write down the answer in Roman numerals. So, this is our question. So, first we will find out the equivalent number for each of these numerals. So, the first number can be written like this. Here, C represents 100, L is for 50, X represents 10 and this is for 8. So, adding all the numbers, we get the equivalent value as 168. Now, the second Roman numeral was this one. So, this equals to X and X represents 10 plus 10, then 5. So, total we have 25. So, this was our question. This plus this equals this value plus this value, 168 plus 25 equals 193. Now, let's find out what is the Roman numeral that equals this number. So, 193 can be written as 100 plus 90 plus 3. We have a symbol or Roman numeral for 100, but we don't have one for 90. So, let's rewrite 90 as 100 minus 10 plus 3. So, 100 is for C. 100 minus 10 here it is C and this is X. So, from the rule of subtraction we know C minus X equals XC and for 3 you have 3 I's. So, the answer here for 193 the Roman numeral is C, X, C and then 3 I's. This is the answer to our example. Now, we have already learned about the different rules of subtraction. Here, you are given two Roman numerals. You have to subtract this from this and write the answer in Roman numerals. Remember, these are the symbols that we use in Roman numerals. The equivalent values are given here. This i can only be subtracted from v and x. x can be subtracted from l and c and c can be subtracted only from d and m. These symbols V, L and D are never repeated or never subtracted from any of these other symbols. So, let us see our question once again. This was the example that we were discussing. Let us see the equivalent value of each of these numerals. So, D, C, X, C. D represents 500, C is 100 and you have X, C. Here it is 100 and it is 10. So, 100 minus 10, you have 90. So, the total value is 690. Now, the second numeral was this one. C represents 100, again 100, then 5. So, the total value is 205. So, from the question, we can write 690 minus 205 equals 485. So how do we write 485 in Roman numerals? 485 equals 400 plus 80 plus 5. Do we have a symbol for 400? No. So, let us rewrite 400 as 500 minus 100. 80 we can rewrite as 50 plus 3 and then we have 5. So, 500 is D, 100 is C. So, from the rule of subtraction D minus C we can write as C D then 50 plus 30. 50 it is L and 30 is represented by 3x. So, 50 plus 30 we can write like this then we have 5. So, the equivalent Roman numeral for 485 equals this one. I hope this is clear to you. Now, all of you please go through the topics adding Roman numerals and subtracting Roman numerals in your textbook. Then you have to do the questions 
question number 3 and 4 from exercise 1.6 in your textbook. You can pause the video, finish the activity and come back. Hope you finished writing that activity. Now let's see the answers. Let's see the first set of questions. Solve and write the answer in Roman numerals. The first one is this one. So to solve this, we have to find out the equivalent values for each of these Roman numerals first. So I have done that here. So this represents a value equal to 67 and this represents a value of 49. Now 67 minus 49 equals 18. How do we write 18 in Roman numerals? 18 is 10 plus 8. So 10 plus 8. 10 is represented by x and 8 we can write like this. Hence the answer this one. Now let's see the second one. Here this represents a value equal to see x is for 10. C represents 100 and this one. So since a smaller numeral is written before a greater numeral, we have to subtract the values, right? So 100 minus 10, it's 90 and you have a 5. So it's 90 plus 5, 95 here and here it is 10, then 50, then you have a 6. So it's a total of 60, sorry. Sorry, here it is 50, so you have to subtract these two. So 50 minus 10, you have 40 plus 6, it's 46. So 95 minus 46 will give you 49. So here x represents 10, then l represents 50. So this equals to 50 minus 10, 40 plus you have a 9 here. So the equivalent value is 49. Now, Let's see question number C. Here you have 3x, so that equals to 30. 3x equals 30 plus here you have a 6, so it's 36 minus 2 tens, that is 20 plus 2 i's, it's 22. So 36 minus 22 gives you 14. So this is 10, and here you have a 4. So 10 plus 4, 14, it's the Roman numeral for this one. Now let's see question D. So for D we have C, it's 100, X and C, that is 100 and 10 here. So 100 minus 10 equals 90, then 2 I's which equals the digit 2. So 100 plus 90 plus 2, it's 192, then we have X, L. From the previous examples, we know XL represents a value equals 40, then you have 5. So, 40 plus 5 is 45. Now, 192 minus 45 will give you 147. How do we write 147 in Roman numerals? See, 100 is represented by C and XL represents an equivalent value of 40 and this represents 7. So, 100 plus 40 plus 7 will give you 147. Now, question E. You have MCD minus 3Cs and then 2X, then 2. Let's put the equivalent values. M represents 1000. C represents 100 and D represents 500. Again, this is the greater numeral, a smaller numeral. So, we subtract these two. So, here the equivalent value will be 500 minus 100, 400. So this is 1000 plus 400, 1400. And here you have 3 C's which equals to 300. Then 2 X which equals to 20. Then 2 I's which equal to 2. So 300 plus 20 plus 2 is 322. Now let's subtract 1400 minus 322 equals 1078. Now, how do we write the Roman numerals for this one? M. This 1000, 1000 is represented by M and 70. For 70, we don't have a symbol. So, let's put 70 as 70 equals 50 plus 20. 50 is represented by L and 20 is represented by 2X. So, here it's M, L, 
x x and for 8 we have v i i three i's hope this is clear to you now let's see the last one here for c it's 100 d is 500 so in that case we do 500 minus 100 because this is the greater numeral and this is the smaller numeral so from the rule of subtraction let's subtract this one so this equals to a value of 400 and we have l and x l is 50 x is 10 so 50 plus 10 equals 60 so the total value is 460 and the second numeral here you have 100 and l and x l is 50 then you have 3 x's which equals to 30 so 100 plus 50 plus 30 equals a value of 180 so the answer to this calculation is 460 minus 180 equals 280 now how do we write 280 in roman numerals 200 is equal to 100 plus 100 right so we can put two c's here now how do we write 80 80 is 50 plus 30 how do we write 50 it's l and how do we write 30 it's 3 x so this is the answer to the last question and i hope all the answers are clear to you Now, let's see the second set of questions. Add the following Roman numerals and write the answer in Roman numerals. The first question, you are given the Roman numerals here. Let's see the equivalent values. This one represents a value equal to 28. This one represents a value equal to 19. So, adding those two will give you a value equal to 47. How do we write 47? X is 10 and l is 50 so the bigger numeral here smaller numeral to the left means we are subtracting it so 50 minus 10 will give an equivalent value of 40 if you write like this then this represents 7 so this is how we represent 47 in roman numerals the second question lx l is for 50 and x is for 10 so 50 plus 10 the value is 60 now c and l c is 100 and L is 50. So, 100 plus 50, you have 150. Then, adding these two numbers will give you 210. 200 is 100 plus 100, which is C and C, 100 plus 100. Then, we have an X to represent 10. So, the answer is C, C, X. Now, let us see the next question. Here, you have L and V. L is for 50 and V is for 5. So, the total is 55 and you have a 3. So, 55 plus 3 is 58. This is how you write. For 50, you have written L and this is for 8. So, this is the Roman numeral corresponding to 58. Now, for D, you have 3x here which equals to 30 then a 5. So, sorry, a 5. So, the total is 35. Then you have M, X, V and I. M is for 1000 then we have a 10 there and we have a 6 there so the answer is 1000 plus 10 plus 6 equal to 1016 so 35 plus 1016 equals 1051 how do you write 1051 1000 is m 50 is l and for 1 we have i so the answer to this question is M L I. Let's see the next question. D C plus C D. What is D? It's 500. And what is C? It's 100. So the total is 500 plus 100 is equal to 600. Now C and D, like we said in earlier calculation, C is 100, D is 500. Here again. A smaller numeral to the left of a bigger numeral hence we subtract these two so 500 minus 100 gives you 400 600 plus 400 gives a value 1000 for that we have a symbol M now the last question MCCLX plus LXIV how do we write that one 
here m is for thousand two c's means it's 200 then you have l and x which equals to 60 so it's 1260 plus you have 60 here from lx then 4 64 so the answer is 1324 how do we write the normal numeral for that it's 1324 1000 is m then 300 it's represented by 3 c's 100 plus 100 plus 100 then 20 is represented by 2x then you have to write the numeral for 4 so this is the answer to the last one i hope all the answers are correct and the concept is clear to you now we have seen how to add and subtract roman numerals today so as an activity for the day all of you please take page number 14 there you can see a maths lab activity please go through that and do accordingly and below that you can see a heading speed mathematics or speed maths you can note down all the questions and the answers from that in your notebook so that's all for today we will meet in the next class until then bye